Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel on this beautiful Sunday morning, the 20th of August. Let's do a short TA update on the charts as a lot of things happened this week. And you're all thinking now what is going to happen next week. I'm going to talk about that in a short TA update on this beautiful Sunday morning. Let's quickly jump into the first chart over BAM here, guys. This is the first chart. Ah, my face. Come on, put it on the right place over there. Down, bottom, and the other. Um, the chart that we're seeing now is the four hour chart. The four hour chart with the bam bam indicator, the simplified bam bam indicator now. And we can see that there was already a long call, but there was a lot of yellowish here in the bottom. And of course, also here, the white line was still pointing downwards. But then the moment we start to close a candle above that yellow stepping line over here, there, we can see the green appearing and we can see the white line slowly pointing upwards and the blue line already being above it i took a long over here you can see the long over there in the screen now and that's a long that i started at 26,019 or something like that uh, yeah a little bit of profit now it's a 15 leverage long why a 15 leverage long uh, because my liquidation is below uh, my stop loss so this, the liquidation is still okay and I stop loss is higher than the liquidations so why not use that leverage 15 now um, let's zoom out a little bit to the bigger pictures over here the five day chart this is the Gaussian channel guys and um, we've been talking about this Gaussian channel for years and yes um, we can see that we are or we did break that Gaussian channel top line that candle over there went all the way into the channel closed into the channel and this new candle now um, of three days is opened inside the channel this gaussian channel this this works a little bit like quicksand and um, if we get into the channel we will be trying to the channel is trying to suck us down to that midline over there the midline that is now around 24,160 and if we keep support over there and bounce up all good if we are getting deeper into this quicksand then we could go all the way down to that bottom line and that bottom line is at 21,218 and that's where those levels come from that everybody's talking about if we look back into the past look for example let's compare it to the 2015 bull run because that one is the most closest to where we are look we didn't go back we came above we retested that top we came above we came above here we retested that top two times three times but we never went in so this never happened in this 2015 to 17 bull run now if we compare it to this part over here we can see the 2019 bear market 2018 19 bear market we went up that run from 3k to um around 14k we came down and then again look we got sucked into it we tried to break out we got sucked into it even to the bottom of the line to the top again now this is that covid crash that normally i don't count but that that made um, the gaussian channel turn red again normally that we should have stayed in that channel if there wouldn't been a um, covid crash for example so then we would have stayed in and it would take a long time to get out again so here again you get sucked into that first to there then to the bottom up again to the midline up again to the midline then you break it to the bottom and when you break the bottom you know the bear market is started so that is how the Gaussian channel is working guys so make sure you understand this completely right that this is not a positive move uh, but also not really negative because we can still see a bounce from these levels or maybe a dip to the 24,160 level which we already didn't buy with for example before we bounce out again now if we zoom out a little bit more to the weekly chart that is this one uh, yes my face is still in the right place on the weekly chart we can see that we are still in this structure like zoop, zoom out like this we had the bottom we had a high a higher low a higher high a higher low uh, again a small higher high over there you know i didn't count that because i thought the higher high would be higher but if this is a higher high then this is still a lower a higher low because the moment we break this level over there, the dotted white line, 24,500-ish, that is when we are um, creating a lower low than this low. And that means that the structure is not intact anymore and that we could fall down to that green line and the 23,700 or the purple line around 21k. Very important. Am I bearish? Not I'm bearish, not at all. I am still bullish. I still see movements coming up. We have seen these dips before. Um, look over here, huge dip, 
bam correction again huge dip bam correction again this is nothing this is just bitcoin it's a small bump on the beautiful run that we're going to see um, into the bull run top in 2025 and that's what we see in the monthly because if you zoom out a little bit more then on the monthly it becomes completely clear that um, on the bottom here we can see still see the macd greenish uh, this candle is going to close in 11 days and 13 hours i can um, i hope that we close this candle above the 200 weekly moving average that's that red line and that red line is around 27 400 and because i believe that, that is going to happen that's why i opened along today uh, on the trade because i believe that uh, 26 to 27 500 could be a nice long over there now so in the monthly we can see everything still intact uh, but i will show you a little bit more on the last chart that is very cool to see um, also guys yes the cme um closed at 26,070 at friday so uh, this is the level we should be around sunday evening europe so let's see what if that happens again now let's quickly jump into the last chart a very interesting chart as well guys um that is over there this one this chart um, is a beautiful representation of the four year cycle and this cycle is numbered and the numbers you can see on the bottom we can see a one two three and a four and the one is a red here that's the year where we create a new all-time high the two is the orange here where we uh, where's uh, the bear market the three is the green year where we have accumulation and the four is the blue year where we have the preparation um, for that next bull market all-time high now every time we can see the same we can see these phases going in the phase in the phase you know now here this was number one number one is the new all-time high we had that then number two that year that's the orange year that's the bear market we had that then the three that is the accumulation year that's the year where we are in now this is the moment you should be accumulating bitcoin and number four again will be that massive bull run all the way into 2025 where we will create a new all-time high that is how the cycle of bitcoin works every time pause the video and uh, completely analyze these numbers for yourself see what is happening on the chart and um yes there is always a tiny 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 possibility that we will crash bam all the way down uh, but then something worse happened to the world than uh, only the crashing of money in my honest opinion now that was all the bam charts for today i hope you really enjoyed this short ta update on my beautiful sunday because i'm going to spend the rest on the beach if you did enjoy the video then please give the video a thumbs up two thumbs up three thumbs up five thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about these charts and are you able now to zoom out uh, from those charts and zoom in into a beautiful beach somewhere near your place hopefully a beach that is not burning like the ones in hawaii and canada uh, all the strength of course to all the people over there. Thanks for watching guys and see you tomorrow again. Bam.